I was playing a hand drum in a park, kind of just messing around. And I had this very mystical experience. This man occurred. He just appeared in the middle of nowhere. He wasn't there one minute, and then he was there. And I had the notion, I got the message that I should go ask him about who I could learn more hand drumming from in town. So I got up, I went over there. He was in a white robe with a drum under his arm, singing to the street. Although as I walked over there, I realized that I didn't see his mouth move, but I heard his voice. And I didn't really think much of it at the time. Everything was a little surreal at the time. And I went over there and I said, do you know anybody in town who could teach me more about hand drumming? And I remember asking him this and thinking, am I crazy? Why, this is not like me. I wouldn't just go up to somebody who's hitting a drum around a tree and start asking questions. And he, he, he looked at me and he smiled, and he smiled right through me, like he knew exactly who I was, like he knew exactly what I was doing, like he knew more about me than me at the time. And he rattled off a name and a phone number. So I thanked him, and he went back to singing. This whole time, his mouth did not move. And I didn't realize this until after this was all over, and I reflected about it all, and I realized I was very telepathic happening. And I went back and I picked up my backpack and I picked up my drum and I ran home. I literally ran because I didn't have a pen and I thought, I'll forget this number. And so I got home and I dialed the phone, the phone, the phone number and the man answered. And it wasn't the guy who I had, he had told me to ask for. And I thought, oh, I forgot the, I forgot the name. And he said, but the person that you're looking for is in my percussion group. And I was like, oh, okay. So right name different phone number, same percussion group, great. And I said, well, I want to learn more about hand, hand, hand drumming. He said, what, what are you doing on Friday night? I said, well, I just moved here. And he said, well, come and play. And I said, no, 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 I don't want to play a show. I just want to learn. And he said, do you want to learn, really? And I said, yeah. And he said, then you'll show up. And he gave me the address. I wrote it down, and he hung up. And I realized I had forgotten the phone number that I called. And back in those days, there was no star 69 or any of that stuff. So it's like if I wanted to meet this man, I had to show up. And I did, and he became my first instructor. So as I played more and more, I um, got interested in the, gym, the djembe, which is the drum that I, one of the drums that I play. And um, as I played more and more, I was infatuated with this drum. I was infatuated with the power that this drum had when I played it. Or that's what my perception was at the time. It must be the drum, it's not me, it's the drum. It's gonna change me. And so I started looking into the culture from which this drum came, and it came from West Africa, specifically Guinea and Mali. So I started looking at the people who created this drum. And what I found was my life. What I found was a new way of being in the world. What I found was a connection to my inner being that I didn't know was there. That man who appeared in the park was just a reflection of me. It was my own inner wisdom. It was my, my own knowing of how to exist in this world and how to negotiate and how to navigate. So what I found was music being used as an ancient technology, as a tool that connects each, each other to each other, connects us to Mother Earth, connects us to the cosmos, and ultimately, connects us to ourselves. And so I studied the music of this culture for 20 years since then. And it never really ends. The, the more you go deeper, the more there is. It is always unraveling and unraveling and unra unraveling. And so music is medicine. It's not as medicine. It is medicine. This is what I found over there. In my first trip, I made my first trip to West Africa in 1997, seven years after beginning this path with this drum. And <clears throat> what I experienced over there was a culture where music is the lifeline. It's the blood. It's the fabric of the whole society. It's what holds everything together over there. And I studied with teachers and masters from West, West, West Africa in the US first. So I learned the, what they would call the cultural context of all these rhythms. I learned that rhythms are played for very specific reasons, right? Like farming. Like when, when the men are farming in the fields, there'll actually be a battery of drummers on the, on the side of the field playing specific rhythms for that action, right? And 
there's uh, specific rhythms for naming ceremonies. There's specific rhythms for harvest festivals, for baptisms, or pre-colonial, there's no baptisms, but post-colonial, there's lots of baptisms. There's rhythms for marriage. There's rhythms for everything. But it wasn't until I went over there that I saw what the ancient history of the rhythms are. And the cultural context is just really <coughs> on sur the surface. That's the modern history. That's kind of what the, uh, like, kind of what the Occidental linear mind grabs onto. But really, our spiritual being connects with what's underneath all of that. And what's underneath all of that is creating balance. It's creating, negotiating balance in the unseen and bringing that back into the scene. And so what I experienced over there was just this. I'd go and I'd hear music being played. And what I saw with my physical eyes was a lot of fun, a lot of self-calibration, a lot of connection between the drummers and the dancers, a lot of connection to each other and the earth and ourselves. But what I saw underneath of that all was powerful transformation. And then when I experienced it in the context of healing and ceremony, that's when it really came through. That's when it really bubbled up, right? And so this is what music is used for there. The drum itself was created by the blacksmith. They call it the nu the numu. The blacksmith's primary function is twofold. In the physical world, in the material, he forges iron, right? He makes tools. And these tools are used to make everything from uh, harvesting the land, to making shoes, to helping make houses, to, I mean, everything. But that's only, that's really secondary to what his primary role is. His primary role is creating balance, negotiating balance with the energies of the cosmos. So the blacksmith lives alone outside of the, vi the village. He's isolated. And that's because the energy that he works with is so powerful. It's what everything is created of, with. It's what you and I are born of. So he works and negotiates with life force and energy every day. So he's isolated. And so this drum was created by the blacksmith. He requested a drum be made to help him negotiate these energies while he's making the iron. So the idea for the djembe came from a blacksmith out of the idea of helping negotiate energy, create, creating balance. And when I found this out, that's when the, the connection started being, made, being made in my own personal life. That's when I started realizing that that's what this drum was helping me do in my own life, helping me find balance, helping me find out who I am, where I'm going, and how I'm going to get, to get there. And for me, that's balance. Because without answers to those three questions, I'm out of balance. I'm always searching. I'm always, I'm not ground, grounded. And in this culture that we, we live in, I'm searching outside. Always outside. Rarely within. Right? I mean, every morning we get up, we look outside, and we see what? Billboards. Buy this. Go here. Do this. Advertisements. So none of the advertisements are saying, look within. <laughs> What are you going to sell? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Let's start a camp, a camp, a camp. Exactly. And so, so that's when really all the pieces started coming together for our armies. After I started making these trips to West Africa and exper experiencing how the music is used. And so I started putting that into action in my own life. Actually, it just started happening. It started happening when I decided that what I knew was limited. It started happening that when I decided that I needed to get out of the way of myself. That was so much in the way my whole life, trying so hard to make things happen. And this goes back to my own training of realizing when I was a kid that if I wanted to play music, no one was going to help me. That everybody was afraid of my goal. Everybody was fearful that I would fail. That music should be a hobby, not what you do but something that you do on the side, right? Get a career, go to school, get a job. And I just thought, I'll wake up when I'm 40 years old going, what happened? Why am I so busy with everything else? I have no time to play. And so I decided not to do, to do that at all and just go. Actually, when I was 16, I had a vision. I woke up. I didn't know it was a vision at the time. It was just a dream. And I, 
I woke up in the middle of the night in another place, and I heard this voice that said, as long as you're true to yourself, you'll be taken care of. And I woke up the next morning totally changed. I knew that any fear that I was feeling wasn't mine. It was theirs. And then any self-doubt wasn't mine. It was somebody else's. And as long as I listened to the voice that said, play music, keep going, that I would be taken care of. And that's why I'm up here in front of you now. And if you would have asked me 10 year, years ago if I would have wanted to stand up in front of a crowd and speak, I would have ran. Yeah, much like you, I hated it. Oh, no. So now, it's not my choice. Because I've, one other thing I've learned is that I need to be obedient to what I signed up for and get out of the way. And so me speaking up here in front of you today is not something that I want to do, it's something that I love. It comes from beyond desire higher. It comes from being obedient to the path and the mission that I'm here for. Yeah, so in this way,